Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL source control video. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Working Folder feature. The Working Folder feature can be used to evaluate Apex SQL source control, since the only requirement is to have a folder on a local machine that will be used as a repository. When using a Working Folder option inside the team, all developers will need to have access to a Working Folder. In that case, a network drive can be used. Also, if there is no source control system in place, or if the decision about the source control system that will be used has not been made, a working folder can be used as a temporary solution. The important thing is that when using the working folder option, not all features are available as they would be for the real source control system. The following features are not supported when using a working folder as the repository labels, revision history on a database and object level, branching, merging. Let's create an empty folder in a random location where a database will be linked. In other words, the folder will be used as a repository. For example, we'll put one on the desktop. In order to link a database to a working folder, we'll right-click a database in the Object Explorer pane and choose the Link Database to Source Control option from the context menu. When the source control wizard is initiated, select the Working Folder option in the first step. The next step is to choose a development model. The Working Folder option can be used with both the shared and dedicated models. We'll select the Shared Model option for the purpose of this video. In the final step of the wizard, we'll navigate to the folder previously created on a local machine. Note that also a folder can be created at this point using the Make New Folder option. When the Action Center is initialized with all objects loaded, we can make the initial commit of all objects. At this point, Apex SQL Source Control is acting in the same way as it would when using any source control system, with the limitation for the features previously mentioned. That means objects previously selected in the object filtering step of the source control wizard will be scripted and shown in the Action Center tab. Let's make the initial commit. When linking a database for the first time, no matter if a source control system or a working folder is used, all objects will be selected by default, with the Action column set for all objects to commit. Let's make the initial commit for all selected objects. In order to do so, we'll just click the Apply button. Note that the Comment field is missing. This is done on purpose for the reason that the commit history cannot be reviewed when using the working folder functionality. Therefore, there is no reason to provide comments when committing objects. Let's make a change in a database to see how that will be handled by Apex SQL Source Control. For example, we'll add a column to the address table by executing the following SQL script. After making a change, let's refresh the Action Center tab. Changes will be detected, and a new column will appear on the database side, the left part of the Action Center tab. At this point, the user can commit changes to a working folder. We'll commit by making sure the Action column for the object is directed from left to right, and we'll click the Apply button. Now that we have a change committed to the repository, there is no way to revert back to the previous version using the revision history. If we try to initiate the project history dialog, a message appears with the information that the history is not available when using the working folder functionality. This means that there is no way to revert to a specific version of an object that was committed at some point. The only available versions are the version of the object in a database, which is the current version, and the most recent one committed to a working folder. The same message appears when trying to create a label. On the other hand, working with static data is the same as using a source control system. The user is able to link and commit static data for any table that has a primary key. To achieve this, right-click a table for which you want the static data to be versioned, and from the context menu, select the Link Static Data option. The script for the linked static data appears in the Action Center tab after it is refreshed. Let's commit the static data for the selected table. 
If a working folder is used for the repository by the team, specific features related to the selected development model can be utilized in the same way as when using a natively supported source control system. Since we've linked a database using the shared model, let's verify that an object can be checked out, for example. We'll right-click a random object from the linked database and choose the Check Out option from the context menu. After checking it out, the icon of an object should change. In addition to this, features like database policies, committing changes made by other developers, and logging changes can be used as they do not depend on a specific source control system and can be used with the working folder functionality as well. To summarize, the working folder option can be used if there is no specific source control system in place. To quickly and easily evaluate Apex SQL source control features, except for the ones that require source control system, such as revision history, labels, and branches. To have any database change scripted and stored in a selected local folder so they can be committed using any other source control client. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.